which of course is brought up, which is developed. This transformative power, this communicative power, it has very much to do with a, bit, a little more indirect form of transmission. So in that sense, of course, both the goals are directed in trying to transmit in, you know, in fostering really this kind of exchange and this communication, but, I mean, it's like efficiency has a different kind of, of, uh, of communicative value. And I think that that's something that we could also try to find and you know, find back and to try to uh, connect in this kind of way, in this mimetic approach. And I think it's so very much part of uh, Stefano's work. So, I mean, just as a first round uh, to close it down, I just leave it you know, open like uh, possible, you know, uh, areas of uh, reflection, interaction, this idea of the thematic approach that is so much based also in a kind of efficient uh, um, approach instead just on a very uh, ethical way. Thank you very much. Thanks. Esther? I was already kind of talking about Esther's work, part of words. Uh, but for me, your, your question for this uh, kind of gathering is more evokes well, a question like uh, what art or artists or uh, works of art could be served or, or could be regarded as a political subject. Yeah. Like, well, that's like how I try to approach this question of, of this gathering. And, uh, and, and for me, like nowadays in, in a contemporary society uh, or in in, in, in the current operation of the cultural production system, for me, it's, uh, it's like how artists are responding to the, the cultural production uh, by itself. And, and how do you respond to the, to the, to the status quo and, and, and what you want to do with it? And, uh, or how you are manipulated uh, by the system on the other way around. And, yeah, but um, I don't want to kind of mislead this question to uh, to address to the functionality of arts in today's society because that's not like uh, yeah, that's not not, not the, the issues that we were talking about or or trying to look at this kind of uh, art used for public service as well. We were just talking like earlier, like uh, how it was like it could be like seen. Like as a sort of public service, like in understanding of a democratic society, um, but I think it's a it's a such a dilemma that like uh, how you see your role as an artist and how you kind of uh, uh, interact with your profession if you see it as a profession. Um, like uh, I would like to kind of uh, speak about like a reflection that I had last year for the bio in New Orleans. Prospect one, and um, it was a really interesting kind of uh, occasion because the only reason for the bio ex to exist was Dan Cameron trying to kind of uh, propose it to the kind of local government and to use it really for cultural kind of tourism and economy like what well, revival plan and it's a kind of uh, art use for survival plan kind of. Uh, Kind of context and um, and artists who were invited there, there are like a lot of like big name like international artists. But uh, in that biennial, it's also like very specifically like uh, including local artists to participate. But when you really see the the local artists, um, you will find like they are doing more like craft arts or. It's really not a contemporary art, so to speak, that we are uh, a, a kind of a well, professional art uh, well, audience would expect um, in, a, in a buying location. But the mix of this is a political result. And, uh, and a parallel kind of a, well, economic system that you have to deal with was also part of the reality. like. A, how art could be like in a sort of public service, and uh, and I think it's a it's a very interesting um, kind of occasion because it touches several issues like what you ask this global art and local art and this border this center because in such a small city like New Orleans um, and actually such big trauma and and and.
and, and their local artists are trying to meet with the international celebrity kind of artists. And there is a crash, and the crash is very brutal. Like, a, yeah, if you are from the local, like, this is not the art that you know. And, and if you are from the international society, this is not the art that you want to see in a bio. And it's a, it's a, it's a hardcore crash. And also, it's a very sensitive issue for, for this bio to be organized because um, they, they are trying to, to be part of the well, kind of a economical like, revival plan. And the bio itself is spreading out throughout this area that would kind of draw the water and, and suffer from the flood. And the uh, artists will, well, some of the artists, I wouldn't give the name, uh, feel like a, well, like a big ball structure kind of thing or, or like an airplane and it's like really almost kind of a ridiculous kind of <laughs> inspiration <laughs> from the trauma and to kind of give a hope for the locals. And for me, it was like really ridiculous. Like, how do you see yourself as an artist uh, in, in in such well in, in in this agenda? Like, how do you work with this context? Um, but that was a very interesting kind of uh, example of the works from Superplex. It's a really small work. Um, uh, they did a kind of insightful research and figure out that actually uh, the economic uh, drop of Katrina actually influence the real estate price in Denmark. And uh, so um, because of Katrina, because the American's economic situation were going down, one family in Denmark were uh, taking advantage of this real estate uh, drop and bought the house. So, um, <laughs> and so the difference of the house, uh, of the, the, the price, the real estate price, were uh, were labeled for the uh, for the photography that uh, Superplex took for their house and sold in um, in New Orleans and for the price of the difference of the real estate, uh, this photograph will be sold to use to uh, uh, to help the local economy in New Orleans. So it create a circulation of the economic system back again. And, and I think it's a very kind of neat approach of um, targeting this kind of uh, economic issue uh, for, for such local instead of, you know, building a big bowl like a, like an Ark of Noah or something. It's just kind of crazy idea. And yeah, so um, like um, what I would like to open this question is like, uh, to see like how our work or a uh, body of our work and artists could serve as a political subject, like in a situation that you could, that probably certain power could be re-exercised to a different direction. And yeah. Uh, just you know, just have a question. Uh, the question is, uh, don't you think that probably this kind of project, like in the context of uh, was new or new project one, that where the result, let's say, is usually you know the big sculpture, the intervention, whatever, etc., right? etc. Cetera, et cetera. Most of the time is also somehow um, based related to a kind of property default that is then you know developed, you know somehow offered by the artist in collaboration with blah blah whatever. You know there are many modalities, of course, many options in that sense. So because uh, as far as we know, you know mostly of this kind of event, they tend also to, I mean, there are also many other examples, I don't know, like, I don't know, yeah. site Santa Fe, you know, where for me, you again, the, the result, it just is a small part of what has been, you know, the whole uh, strategy of involving people, let's say, in the sense that what is usually conceived as the community. So in the sense, the whole project of the artist of world is not so much probably focused on what, of course, will be there at the end, as a result of the show, as the you know, finalized work destined, let's say, to the art community, but it also has the, the pre-existing life, which is much more like a whole, uh, then of course there are very different ways of developing it, but let's, let's call it the collaborative effort, you know, yeah. to, to develop a kind of community, and in that sense, the art, since we're speaking of, you know, uh, you heard this kind of democratic or uh, you said like public service